Hi, my name's Anthony James and I'm a junk model maker, which means I make models out of junk. I've worked for film, television and theatre and today welcome to the Bug Cave because we're going to make some marvellous mini monsters. However, before we do that, I'm just going to do a little introduction on the ins and outs of junk model making. So if you've seen this bit before, just fast forward now to the bit where my shirt changes colour. If you haven't seen this bit before, stay with me as I show you just some bits and bobs about making your models. The first thing you'll need is a good pair of scissors. I like these small scissors, they're great to use, very good for children as well because they're blunt ended so they, they're not going to hurt you as badly as other pairs of scissors could. But again, still be careful, they are scissors and they can cut you, so be aware of that. But these little scissors are great. The next thing you'll need is some masking tape. Masking tape's fabulous for sticking things together and is much quicker and easier to use than glue. But there are two types. There's low tack and high tack. What you'll need is some high tack masking tape. This is the kind of masking tape that's sold in stationery suppliers. Uh, don't use the kind of masking tape that you can buy in DIY stores because obviously that's low tack, hasn't got a lot of glue on it, so that's not quite as good for making models. So this high tack stuff is the best stuff for making. And really that's it, you'll need some scissors, some masking tape, and then obviously some household junk material that's safe to use. And you're ready to have a go at making a junk. Hi, and we're going to make now a big slimy garden slug. Sounds like an easy make, and frankly it is. Uh, so what you'll need, some masking tape, some scissors, and a milk bottle. Preferably be one of these larger ones like this lot. Do the top up really tight, make sure you've cleaned it out inside, you don't want to smell it. Slimy slug. Clean it out, do the top up really tight, make sure it's dried off on the outside. That's the body. Then what you'll need to do is cover it in newspaper. Now, we've got two pages here. What you need to do is cut one of the pages in half. Slightly different to some of my other posts, this, because we need a slightly bigger piece of newspaper to get around the milk bottle size there. So there is our piece of newspaper. Scrumple it up to make some slimy, bumpy, sluggy skin. And then we're going to stick this to the table. So open it out, stick it to the table. Make sure you can do this. Make sure your table is laminated like this, not a wooden table with varnish on. The varnish could come off with the masking tape or a tablecloth. And just put your tape half on and half off all the way around the newspaper. You're sort of making a big picture frame around the newspaper. So big bits of tape. Half on and half off. Wallop, I use that as the magic word when I'm working in schools to stick the tape on. I'm going to do it again. Wallop over here. Make sure the masking tape is long enough to go all the way to the corner so there aren't any gaps. And then just pull that bit of paper off the table. And you've got a big sticky patch. So turn it over onto the table like that. Get your milk bottle. Put that in the middle and just roll it over like this. And because you've just done the extra little bit, you should have enough paper to go all the way around that big bottle. And that really is the body shape of your big slug. Now, it's way too short, we need to make it longer. What we're going to use for this is a cereal box. Just a, a normal, normal cereal, cereal box here like this lot and what you need to do is cut down one of the corners to open the box out like that and if it's a box shape still do this and just break the bottom open this box just happens to have been flat packed because I just need that big piece of cardboard. Now what you do and I'll try to hold this up so you can see this nice and clearly is you cut out a really big triangle so one cut up there Cut again the other way because we're using all of the cardboard, all of the box, like that. So we get this really big triangle. Now the next thing now is to fold that in half, a bit like a paper airplane. You fold it in half like that. Don't roll it. You're not making a roll, you're folding it. So there's a big bit of tape and there's my folded piece of cardboard, like that. So we've folded it long ways, like this. Get your tape. 
stick that half on and half off the edges of that triangle and just fold your tape over and stick it back together and you're making a dinosaur tail from when my, I build dinosaurs on YouTube as you know and this is how I do the tails but today look we've made our big sluggy tail so what we do now is we simply stick that on the back of this so we're using this square front as the front of the slug and this goes on the back of that bottle now hopefully it'll either fit or it'll be too big if it's too big cut it down I think this one, well, frankly, it's about the right size, so I'm just going to stick that on as it is. Put your tape all the way round. There's no incredible science to this bit. It's just stick that on your big slug, and there's your big slug shape there. Now, we're going to make the eyes and the feelers at the front of the slug. Put a bit more tape on that bit. That's better. There we are. So, we do that with, again, some more newspaper. What you can do for this... Get a piece of newspaper, scrumple it up first, open it out, get a nice big piece of tape from your hand to your elbow, put that on the edge of the table. Let's just put that there, that's to use later. Get a little bit of tape and just stick the end of this piece of newspaper look to the table in front of you like that. Now, you go to the end and you twist and squeeze and 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 twist and squeeze. Get your piece of newspaper, uh, piece of masking tape, go all the way along like that. That just stops it coming around again. Pull it off the table, join that bit together and try to make sure that the ends are a bit pointy. And squeeze it into a point. Press your tape down into a point shape. The same on this end here. I'm going to turn that to a point shape as well. Just there. See, if you don't, it doesn't look very good. So, nice pointy shape there. Bend it in the middle. And these are going to be your eye stalks for your slug now. It's ever so easy. What we're doing now is stick those on the front of our slug there to make the eye stalks. Just like that, and you can see there already, very sluggy. Put a bit of tape across the tape you've put on there, just to make sure that they can't fall off like that. I happen to have the top of some plastic bottles. These little fruit shooty type bottles here, which make great eyes. So I'm just going to put those on the end, like that. Force the point in. Just put some tape round. Again, there's no incredible science or technique to this. It's just putting some tape round. So I'm pressing that on, just so I've got a little eye look on the end there. You can see the little eye staring at me there, look. Okay, I'm gonna do the same on the other one. There, as well. Put a bit of tape on. Bit more on that one because I've done such a bad job of it. So let's do it. That's better. All right, there we are. So we've got our two stereo eyes just at the front there. Look. Okay, and now we need the feelers at the front. Well, for this, the best thing to use is an egg box. Here's an egg box. I've already had some of this egg box for another make look. So I'm just going to cut that bit out there just to show you. There's our two feelers there. They're the points in between the egg box. Uh, cavities where the eggs go so if I just cut around those like that and there's our two feelers for the front all I need to do with those is put a nice piece of tape across the middle I'll just show you that on the table I'm just going to put a bit of tape across the middle there and then just stick those in the middle of the front of your slug's head there and now, you can stick the rest on by just putting a bit of tape around, like that. And like that, making sure that if there are any holes, you cover them up with tape. The good thing, of the, one of the main reasons I use masking tape is you can paint it. So, now, you'd be painting this after you've done this particular job. Choose your colour, it can be black, obviously like most common garden slugs, but you can have uh, leopard slugs and all kinds of odd 
patterned and uh, coloured slugs there. So choose your slug carefully. And there is your slug. The finishing touch, I think, is what we all like about slugs. The slimy bit. Just get a nice bit of bubble wrap like this. Don't pop it all. Save a nice big bit and just cut out a great big sort of leaf shaped bit like that which will just go under your slug. I suggest you paint your slug first before you attach this. But you see I've done sort of a big bit like that. Put that on your table. Paint your slug. Get a piece of masking tape. Roll it into a sticky ball. Stick one in the middle. Roll it into another sticky ball. Stick that one in the middle. Paint your slug and put it on his slime. There, like that. And there you have a big, slimy slug. Easy as that, really. Enjoy that. It's a very simple, mate, but it's a lot of fun. A big, slimy slug.